Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to register your own map image in Handy GPS. So the prerequisite is that the image has to be either a JPEG or a PNG and it shouldn't be larger than about a thousand by a thousand pixels. If it's larger than that then you'll need to use a different approach. But for images of that size this is the way you can do it. So I'm bringing up a file browser called ES3 here which I tend to use. It's a um, free file browser app on Google Play. So I'm just locating the folder that Handy GPS stores its files in. So it's got Handy GPS there. Now we need to go into the map tiles folder. Now I've already created uh, a folder here for my new image. Um, so I've created this folder called Gosford and inside there I've just dropped my um, Gosford map image. Now if we click on that and view that in the gallery uh, we should be able to see that that is the map that we want to register. So as you can see there's no other files in that folder at the moment, it's just purely that image. Now what Handy GPS actually needs is two other um, files in there. It needs a um, XML file with the same name as, Gos as the map and it also needs a tile, a tile list.txt file. So Handy GPS will actually create these for you and I'll show you how. All you need to do is create the folder and put the the map image in there. So once you've done that, you exit out of the file browser, bring up Handy GPS. Right, so we go to the Google Maps page and then we choose Manage Offline Maps. Now at the moment I've got no active map selected, but as soon as I select the new map that I'm trying to register, Gosford, it brings up this dialog that says Map Image Not Registered. Would you like to register this image now? So I say yes. Now what it does is it prompts me to enter the lat long extents. So at the top here is the um, lat long for the bottom left corner and then the lat long for the top right corner. So I happen to know already what those um, latitudes are. So I'll just type those in. Now if you don't know um, what the extents of your image are, you'll need to find them out first. And one way you can do that is you can install um, Google Earth Pro and that has a add image overlay tool and if you use that you can position your image by dragging it to the appropriate location and then it will actually um, let you view these um, lat long coordinates that you need to enter in the handy GPS. So if you've got Google Earth Pro on your PC that's one way to do it. Google Earth Pro is actually um, free for download I believe at the moment. Okay, so I'll just check, double check that I've got the coordinates right there. Okay, that's what they should be. So once I've got those coordinates, I can just press OK. And it says down the bottom here, the map has been registered. Okay, so then I go back. Now, where I'm, where I actually have the map is not exactly where I am at the moment. So here we go there's the image registered as desired now also I can if I want to just double check that it's um, overlaid in the right spot I can set the transparency to 50% and then I can just zoom in on that and just double check that it's in the right spot so that seems pretty good okay so that's um, a simple way to register your own image in Handy GPS, and as I mentioned earlier, if you've got a larger image um, than sort of around a thousand by a thousand, you can't do it this way as a single tile. What you need to do is um, slice the image up into tiles. Now, if you go to the Handy GPS online help, there's an offline maps um, page on that help, and down the bottom of there, it describes the procedure um, that you can perform on your PC to um, slice an image up into tiles. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.